This is Natalia with Cobo Banker from Western Florida. And today we're going to talk about Broward County. Do you know anything about Broward County? Let me tell you everything about it right now. Broward is one of the three counties in South Florida that make up that Miami metropolitan area which was home to estimated 6,198,782 people in 2018. Broward County has 31 municipalities, which consists of 24 incorporated cities and the rest at incorporated areas. What I mean with incorporated is that the address of that specific specific city is within the city limits and the, the city in particular has had the own municipal government. Broward is the seventh largest county in terms of um, land area. The largest portion of the county is the conservation area, which is the Everglades that extends all the way to Maples Beach for you to have an idea. Our major airport, airport, our major airport is Fort Lauderdale International Airport. And we have three other regional, but those um, airports are secondary. The adjacent counties are Palm Beach to the north, Miami Dade south, Collier County to the west, and Henry County to the northwest. Um, Broward County was founded in April 30th, 1950, and the intended name was going to be Everglades County, but in honor of Napoleon Bonaparte Broward, the House of Representatives um, decided to amend the name and change it to Broward County. Dania was the first city incorporated, followed by Pompano and then Fort Lauderdale. In 1915, when Broward was founded, Palm Beach County and Miami-Dade County contributed the same amount of land for Broward County to be created. Full fact, in 1977, a snow fell in South Florida for the first time in recorded history. In 1980, the census reported more than 1 million people living in Broward County. Check out this graph, census numbers for Broward County since 1920. So you can see the big jump and the massive growth in population. Unfortunately, in 1992, in August 24, 1992, Hurricane Andrews passed through Miami Lake County, causing over 100 million in damage in Broward alone and leaving dozens of people homeless as a result of the related fires that the hurricane caused. At the time, Broward became the base of operations to shuffle supplies and help to the people in Miami-Dade County that suffered the most because of the hurricane. They had over 25 billion in damages. So Hurricane Andrew caused a massive exodus from South Bay to Broward County, filling Pembroke Pines and other Broward community with tens of thousands of families in need. Um, there were coming from Miami from the disaster area and they needed it to leave somewhere and as for Broward County in 2005 Vilma hit South Florida um, but this was the most damaging storm for Broward County since Hurricane King in 1950. Broward has the best of both worlds. We are bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Everglades wildlife um, to the west. Population is 1,890,416 people. Um, we can also see that most of our population is between the ages of 18 and 64, 
followed by uh, young people from 18 and under. Females and males are, you know, mostly equal. And the total households um, of for now are 675, 820. Once again, thank you for being here with me today. Please don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. I'm here to help you and see you when I can. I will see you next Thursday.